Hey everybody, we're talking about the five most expensive Philadelphia neighborhoods. So coming in at number five is Rittenhouse Square. Now no surprise there, right? It's got one of the most desirable locations in Center City. It, I don't think you could get any more center of the city. It's got beautiful Rittenhouse Square Park surrounding the park and surrounding that area. Now its central location is perfect for easy access to homes, residences, shops, eating, fun, but also office buildings. So Rittenhouse Square has a great blended mix of luxury townhouses, but also mansions in the sky with their luxury condo market as well. Some of the high rises are new construction, beautiful brand new everything, luxury, but they also have some dated or older condos that still have that Philadelphia charm, just like the townhouses there with that historic charm, but also allow for luxurious amenities. Definitely the most expensive part of the city. And it's the most desirable because it's got a lot of high energy, but it's also convenient to downtown. I mean, it is downtown. I don't think you can get any more down than in the town than in Rittenhouse Square. Parking is kind of an issue in the area, generally speaking, but if you live there, there's a lot of parking opportunities. Most of them are at your residence. All right, so coming back at you here at number four. Number four, we got Chestnut Hill. Now it's about a 10 minute drive from Center City. Very similar price points to Rittenhouse Square. Now Rittenhouse Square, literally the sky's the limit, uh, could be as high as 25 million and as low as uh, 250,000, uh, but that's not very luxurious. We can get you something nice. Now Chestnut Hill is outside of the city and actually pretty close to uh, Montgomery County. It's in the northern western section of the city. It really has that unique balance of close to center city, but also has that main street down uh, uh, a little bit suburban, but a little bit urban kind of uh, hometown feeling as well. Germantown Avenue has got tons of shops, tons of eateries. It's about 10 blocks long. Now, is that a city mile or is that a country mile? Another super draw to Chestnut Hill, which makes it very desirable, is you have a, a lot of choices in houses where in some cases you just have either row homes or townhouses or you have either condos or something else. You can get literally single homes and mansions in Chestnut Hill. You can get some beautiful row home houses, some townhouses. You can even get some 19th century twins, Victorians. Really has a super blend. There's a lot of modern, but there's a lot of um, ultra old school in Chestnut Hill too. It's got great private schools, great business area, um, excellent business district, um, excellent school catchment as well. There's a ton of amenities, a ton of attractions here. Price points here on average are very similar to Rittenhouse Square. Uh, we could probably get you into something in that three, $400,000 range, which you would love. If you're in that three and $4 million price point, you're absolutely gonna be thrilled. And the sky's the limit here, um, six and $7 million, some, some beautiful estates and, and some, some really great mansions in this section of our fair city. Chestnut Hill is also known as the Garden District. So it's pretty obvious there's an arboretum and there's some local parks and you're close to the counties, really does have it all. All right, heading down our list, or are we heading up our list? Number three, we're back to Center City in Washington Square West. This is probably one of the top, well, it is the top three, but it's probably one of the top two sections of Center City where people wanna live, Rittenhouse Square being the first. It's an older part of our city as well. It's got a lot of colonial touches, got a lot of, uh, a lot of different kinds of homes here, a lot of one-way streets, a lot of uh, pedestrian walkways as well. Washington Square West, houses or is home to Midtown Village, also Gaberhood. It really is a very desirable residential area, residential community, but it's also really cool. It's really hip, it's trendy. It's got uh, different eateries and, and, and a, a real walkability to it. Some delicious restaurants, fine dining as well. All right, coming in at number two, we got Society Hill. By the way, if you stick around, I'll shoot a bonus at you here at the end. So Society Hill is also one of the oldest parts of the city. It's wedged right there um, next to Old City, which is also pretty expensive to live in as well. The quintessential Philadelphia brick home was, was had to be invented here. I'm gonna say it was invented here. And because I said it and you heard it on this channel, then you know it must be true. But why? 
Something I want to mention about Society Hill with an average price point in that $600,000 range, there's some beautiful townhouses, some beautiful trinities, some, some great row homes, uh, just, just an excellent um, plethora and a variety of real estate here. Uh, although, albeit very old or older, one of the oldest parts of the city, it's a very quiet area. Uh, very, very quiet and, and, and very residential. It's, it's not a, a huge impact of um, businesses and offices and hubbub of, of like a central type city would offer, but there's a really great business district and, and a ton of opportunities for you to walk and eat and drink and, and have fun. You've got public transit, you've got food, you've got shopping, you've got supermarkets, but you also have farmer's markets too. It's a really cool part of our city. What's that you say? Housing price points, half a million dollars up to five million easily. Uh, really a wide variety, uh, great pricing, a super, a super luxury market here as well. Okay, next up, we're gonna graduate to number one. <laughs> <laughs> Or is this number five? So it's the graduate hospital area. Now, oddly enough, um, the, the hospital was named after was not actually in this area, but look, it doesn't matter. Uh, it used to be really a, a heavy middle-class Philadelphia neighborhood. Um, it's now kind of uh, taken a turn uh, for the better or for the worse. <laughs> it depends on who you ask. Um, there's a lot of younger crowd in this area, uh, but also old school, but also older crowd too. So it's really got a, um, uh, it's really a, a, a melting pot of age groups and, and also uh, price points of houses, uh, average price point in this area, probably a half a million dollars. Again, a very quiet area away from the hustle and bustle of let's say Center City or Rittenhouse Square, but there's a lot of fun things to do. You got about a 15 minute walk to a dog park. There's a, a park, Able Park, right in Graduate Hospital. There's a lot of activities going on for families and for single people as well. If you like beer, well, you're gonna love Graduate Hospital because you're only a couple blocks from the largest distributor in the area. Uh, nice fun fact there, but it really has um, a little bit of everything, uh, a little bit of something for everyone, I should say. A little bit of everything, yes. It's got condos, it's got townhouses, it's got luxury, it's got affordability, it's got some super great housing there, uh, great mansion type places, also less expensive condos. So if you're looking for a home away from home, Graduate Hospital definitely should be in your top 10 choices. No libs. No, I'm not gonna give you a bonus. No libs, I'm trying to do a little play on words. I don't know if that worked. No libs is our bonus. One of the most expensive parts of our city. If you know what no libs means, hit that comment button down below before I can tell you in three, two, one. Of course, we're talking about Northern Liberties. So Northern Liberties is a great location, excellent spot just outside of Center City. There's a, a lot of fun things to do here as well. You like art, they got a lot of art galleries, but also public art murals in this section. There's a lot of options for food, a lot of options for shopping. There's a lot of options for different businesses as well. Northern Liberties is great. There's plenty of bars and breweries and, and stuff like that to do, but it's not overwhelming or like overbearing. There's also this massive green space. The green space is called Liberty Lands. So Northern Liberty is a short walk to Fishtown or a couple of train stops to Center City. Definitely a super convenient location, very desirable, pretty expensive too, very similar price points to let's say Graduate Hospital or uh, even Society Hill or even Old City. Hey, how come Old City didn't make our list? Well, if you think of another place that should be on our list of the most expensive neighborhoods in Philadelphia, hit us up, shoot me a text, send me an email. I'm happy to help you in any way I can. I've got uh, questions. I've got answers to your questions and probably some questions to your answers, if that's how it works. I'm Gregory Marti, your local real estate expert here in the, in the Philadelphia market. Got you covered in and out of the city, in New Jersey too. Hey, we got you covered worldwide. Thanks for stopping out, everybody. Hit that bell notification, hit subscribe, Appreciate you supporting the channel.